I'm Steve Williams, and I'm the new keyboard player for Eden's Curse. Currently here in Glasgow with the guys doing the photo shoot and video for the uh, new single, uh, Evil and Divine. Uh, some of you may know me from previous previous bands and activities I've been involved with, uh, specifically Power Quest and Dragon Force as well. Uh, it's a real thrill to be asked by Paul and the boys to, to get involved in Eden's Curse. I've been a fan for a long time, I've known the guys a while. And it's great to be finally here and uh, getting myself right cursed, I can tell you. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Nikola Mic and I'm from Serbia and I'm the new lead singer of Eden's Curse. I'm really honored to be the part of the mellow journey of Eden's Curse with a new upcoming album that is coming out on the 4th of October and uh, I'm looking forward to rock with you guys. Well, since I've been around in metal music and rock music, I have two bands. One is Drylands and the other one is Alagia, which is a Serbian band. We did some albums and um, eventually it caught Pete's and Paul's attention. They messaged me over Facebook, asked me if I could take part of the singer's audition for Eden's Curse Band for the new album and for the band. And I, uh, after I saw that they're really a dedicated band, that they have a very dedicated uh, fan base, I was right up to it to record my first song for the, for the audition. For me, when I heard a lot of the auditions, um, Nyx was the one that stood out. It stood out mainly because of its originality. Um, his voice was strong, it was soulful and he had something different to offer and uh, that's really why I championed him um, because I think he could offer something different, change the face of the band and uh, possibly help this band move forward. Yeah well we, we got many additions in and, and uh, you know Nick had a, a great addition of Time to Breathe, uh, Pete was really a, a major champion of, of Nick and um, you know, encouraged us to, to take it forward. Um, he did a, a great rendition of Jerusalem Sleeps and eventually we got through um, Evil and Divine, which was the, going to be the new single. And that's when we really began to sit up and take notice and say this guy was something special. Um, he is the complete package, you know, he's, he's, he's easy to work with, great in the studio, highly professional extremely talented, can play multiple instruments as a live sound engineer, a producer, he's got so much to his bag, but more importantly he's, he's a lovely human being. I've, I've just spent the last week in a studio recording his vocals and we've had nothing but a great laugh, a great time and we're producing great results and, and um, I think it's going to be evident for everyone to hear on, on the record. Uh, I agree with what Pete was saying earlier on, we, we are very confident that Nick's the you know, the, the, the right type of singer to take us forward and to a higher level, and uh, that's what we're going to try and do. Well, he's just an amazing talent. We're one of the most amazing ta uh, singers that I've seen in recent times, you know, so he's he's just so versatile in what, what he can do, and he, he just fits the band perfect, because, um, I mean, with Eden's Curse, we're very um, uh, diverse. Uh, as far as the music, so so there's not just one particular style that we're doing, and uh, so we we just we're really looking for a singer that could keep up with that, you know, ha ha have a range in his, in, his, in his vocals, and uh, yeah, Nic Nicola is just perfect because he can do so many things from blues to metal stuff and everything in between. So um, yeah, Nic Nick is just perfect, and he's just. Uh, a super sweet guy, so it's just perfect. Yes, I was recording the vocals all week 
it was a good week, a good working week. We had fine takes and the songs are amazing. You guys are gonna like it. I liked it. Well, I think there's, uh, there's always been a lot of common ground, I think, between PQ and, and Eden's Curse in, in the sense of the melody being important to the songs. The melodies and the hooks and the big choruses, I think both bands have got that in common. But I think what Eden's Curse have that's maybe a bit different to, to Power Quest is less emphasis on the, the speed side of things, uh, and more, perhaps more focus on the actual song itself. Um, which makes for the, the listener, maybe it's a bit more accessible to a, a, a broader range of people. You know, the old double bass drum thing can be a little bit too much of a, a handful for an awful lot of people. But with, with this band, it's, it's very much playing for the song, uh, first and foremost. You know, I know it's, it's early days and, and all that as far as I'm concerned. But when Paul played me the, uh, the demo ideas that, that the guys were, were kicking around at the turn of the year, you know, I was thinking, wow, these, these are really cool songs. It's something I'd really like to be involved with. Um, and, and here I am. You know, it's, uh, it's great so far. and can't wait to, uh, to see where the, the journey's going to take us. Well, the travel is not a problem because I'm used to it. Well, as I'm playing in a band called... <laughs> Right, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, he's messed his hair up. Oh, you messed my Poor chap. Poor, Poor chap. chap. Well, you're probably all wondering what the new Eden's Curse sound is going to be like. Well, there's new guys involved in all that kind of thing. Well, here's a little snippet from the first single. It's called Evil and divine. <laughs> 